What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty, and I'm back with another video. And um, um, yeah. First of all, thank you all my loyal subscribers, people that been rocking out with your boys since day one. I appreciate all the love. Should I appreciate all the hate? All my new Twitter followers, all the people that hit me up on Facebook. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Joining the Bang Bang Next Gen Gamers uh, Gamers Group. I will leave all the information down below. Um, like I said before, send me a request over Facebook. A group is private, and I will add you to my. Um, I would add you to. I'm sorry, I will add you to my group. Um, also, um, um, yeah, your boy. Like I said, you know, I started that whole Sony Pony thing. Just me sitting in the house. Like you know, at the E3, shit was a little heated in this whole console war thing. Like I said, at the end of the day, I own them both, but <clears throat> before the Xbox brand, anybody know through and through, my Xbox dude. But um, I started the slogan saying, you know, Sony Pony and. I, you know, I guess like I, I never heard anybody say it before. You know, like I said, I don't watch a lot of dudes' videos. Just some shit, like you know, just ain't fucking being silly. Sony Pony, and that shit, like I said, it's just kind of taking off, it's catching fire. You know what I mean? But anyway, to make a long story short, I could see that uh, some guy named Jeremy Connor. He was saying that you know, they told everybody like, oh, next thing you're getting famous. He said he said he's a former employee over at, at IGN, and um, and he said Xbox fans call PS fans ponies. PC fans call everyone pez. He left this on his Twitter feed. And everybody tagged him in the thing. This guy here, Brandon Melly, he said, um, I, 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 like the, I like the term Sony Ponies. It comes from this full blown Xbox fanboy, YouTube, Next Gen 720. He has been calling people Sony Ponies, um, um, you know, since E3 2013. I'll force it damn full. Like I said, I ain't no. End of the day, man, I'm a gamer. Uh, I'm a consumer first, you know what I mean? And, if, you know, I'll fuck with the Xbox. I mean, it's better suits my needs. At the end of the day, what I eat don't make you guys shit, so, you know. But anyway, as I was saying, though, I'll leave all my social information down below. You guys can come fuck with your boy if you choose to. <clears throat> you know what I mean? But anyway, on to the story uh, of today. Um, and it's like I said, it, now it's getting late. Now you can see why I call these motherfuckers ponies. It's just show dog because they just really, honestly, it's one thing to be a fanboy, you know, you know, but these, these rabbit, I don't give a fuck what you are, but these rabbit, I ran into some rabbit Nintendo fans that said some crazy shit to me, but like, they're just, I think, I, I, now they're fucking with the developers from Titanfall. Now, when it was a chance of Titanfall coming to the PS4, it was the, it was the best game in the world, right? They loved it, but now they now they you know ragging on re respawn entertainment uh, for having dedicated servers. So they said Titanfall the defense against claims that matchmaking elim elim eliminates the need to have dedicated servers. Now, if I don't know what's like like listen, like fanboy or not, can none of you jokers tell me what the straight? I ain't talking about no hybrid server. You know what I mean? They're still using host migration. If you're trying to say that, I don't give a fuck if it's matchmaking or not, if you have any peer-to-peer uh, -peer connection for a game is, is you know, is better than having a dedicated server, I want you to put your face right here next to the screen. Right, just right there. I want to tell you something. Slap this shit out of you. Like, are you serious? Now they hate no Microsoft because now maybe they do have like I said, you know, dedicated servers. You know, developers have the choice of using Microsoft shit. Not saying they won't, but hey, if you want to use our service, it's here. Yada, yada, yada. You know what I mean? And Respawn Entertainment went to Sony at first. You know what I mean? And went to they went to Sony and went, and went to Microsoft and gave them their vision of this game that they wanted to make. And they said it couldn't be made without, you know, dedicated servers the way that they want. Now, as far as the 360 version... Uh, Respawn is not handling that port. It's another company doing it, so it's not the same game. I mean, you know, I mean it's not the same game. And you know that you know that PC, and Xbox One players are going to have. Uh, and hold on one second, because me making this video with y'all, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. I'm thinking about doing a uh, 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 video diary. So cause I got some real shit. I'm like, that's a real personal shit that I'm gonna talk. I'm a real dude. I ain't no how. Like I said, I'm a real steak and potatoes type dude. Real simple dude. And, um, like I said, you know, I've been going through this thing with my, I told you guys, I was younger, I got shot a few times, and, um, and, um, I recently had the, the slug and all that shit removed from my back, which was sitting on the disc, pressing the disc and was squeezing my nerve, 
was making my legs and shit like going. Uh, it happened when I was 16, I'm 35 now. And I just got the surgery last Monday to remove all the 11 and a half hour surgery. <clears throat> so the last three hours I've been going, this last three hours, last three years I've been going through pain management. And when I say that's a, uh, ah, any jokers right there that are going to start pain management or, listen, listen, that's not, that's not, that's a short term fix to a, a big problem, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I was avoiding getting surgery and da 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 because I was saying even that they removed the, what's going on? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm off topic. Look, that's going to come in another video. I'm going to believe me. If you think about going for pain management, don't even do it, man. Don't even, don't even, don't even, don't even pull the panties off that motherfucker. You know what I mean? I got so much fucking pain medication in here, it's crazy. But anyway, I'm sorry. Back on topic. Um, I, I just think, like, these Sony fanboys are, like, they are the worst. These ponies are the worst, and like I said, they are a cancer to gaming. Like, you know, it's I guess it's one thing. Some people take the term in stride, and I ain't talking about them, dude. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not it's cool to be a, a fan of Sony. I'm not saying that. Everybody's a fan of Sony's a pony. Or, nah, just some of you guys just take to this online trolling. Like, you take this shit, you, 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 you fuck with developers, you have, you know, you harass Larry Hybrid, people from Nintendo, people from Microsoft, like... But yeah, but like you know, like but like it's crazy. You sit there and defend your Sheeta with your life. Like you know what I mean? Like you know, the Astro Sheeta is is the PS4 gonna charge for for playing on games online? He answered no. And you ah, Mike, like you know what I mean? It's like crazy as hell. So what do you guys think about Sony with this whole DRM thing? What they're doing with the you know fifteen dollars a month to play SOE games online? So play any Sony games online from now on. They're gonna charge. You know, guys, fifteen dollars a month. You guys, the customers for dollars. You guys feel about that? Or on top of like, or on top of uh, you know, your PlayStation Plus. What do you guys feel about that? But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. I just think it's silly as hell. You know, what I mean, if you want to play Titanfall, all you got to do is get your Xbox One, get your gaming PC, or oh, shit, get it for the 360. Stop with all the hate. I know you got a 360 at home. Boot that old motherfucker up. Blow the dust off it. Ooh. I'm bugging the fuck out. But anyway, this is your boy, Next Gen 720. It's been real. I'll leave all my social information down below. Come follow. Come fuck with your boy. Also, too, I got a new series coming to my channel. It's One Blood, One Crip, and a nigga from down south. We're going to do a little podcast. We're going to try to do it every Sunday. You know, you know how niggas is, man. We're going to try to do it every Sunday. You know what I mean? So I'm waiting for the, we ain't going to bed until about 6 o'clock this morning. So I'm waiting for these jokers now to get up and whatever. I don't know what the topic is going to be about. You know, I don't want to do my videos. I don't have a script. I just sit down and just shoot shit off the top of my head. So. What you see is what you get, you know, one take, you know what I mean? But anyway, it's your boy Next Gen 720. And um, uh, and as I always say, bang, bang. <laughs> Damn, dog, the police said we want Titan Fall, man. <laughs>